singer-songwriter Lizzie Sider did not want to allow for one more child to be bullied. The 18-year-old scripted a free bully prevention video to help curb the bullying epidemic in the United States. The 18-year-old joins us in the Fox 4-in-1 studio. Welcome. Thank you, Diana. It's great to be here. It is great to have you here. Now, you've been extremely busy, and mm -hmm. if anybody pays attention, October is Anti-Bullying Awareness Month, and tomorrow is Anti-Bullying Awareness Day. Uh -huh. Why is it so very important for people to address this problem? I think, for me, I know I experienced bullying in elementary school, but of course, that was before anything else really, like with the internet or any other cyberbullying mm -hmm. um, forms really existed. I came into it um, just in that beginning stages. Um, but I think it's so important to be addressed because it is something that is definitely being brought to the surface now, whether that is because of the internet space or whether that's just because people are taking more of an awareness and a notice to it. Yeah. But it happens to people of all ages. It happens to children. I personally work with children. Um, I like to work with them and you know, tell them I've my experiences, tell them what I mm -hmm. think should be done before that age of where it gets right. to another point because, because that's, that's where I have my experience as well. And it's important to address the person being bullied and also the person who's doing the bullying too. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting, I go personally into schools and I speak to kids about bullying and I do a whole assembly and one of the parts of the assembly is I ask um, kids why they think people bully. And one of the very common answers is that bullies bully because they have been victims of it themselves. Oh. And so it's really interesting when we get into reasons why, but also the fact that everybody has experienced it. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what it's like. Um, and that's an important thing to relate to people who, especially children, who feel so alone when they're getting bullied and they absolutely. don't know how to stand up for themselves. Mm -hmm. So what's some advice for those kids out there because we're, we're just starting the school season here? Yeah. I think that um, it's so important to get yourself to a place where you know that it's okay to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I think especially for when you're talking of, you know, speaking of younger children in school, um, who this may be a new thing. This may be something that happens every day. It may be something that is super extreme. Yeah. Or it may be something that is more mild. But regardless of that, I remember I was always in a place when I was younger to talk to my parents, to talk to my teachers, to talk to my friends. It was so important not only so that I could get it out and that I could almost express it in that healthy manner yes. um, and not let it build up and explode in another way, whether that would be self-detrimental, whether mm -hmm. that would be in another way that um, is not as healthy, but also so that you can get resources so that you can get proper um, exposure to the problem and, and help yourself and I think that's so important to be open about it, to be honest about to it. have that open dialogue and that dialogue also starts with the parents. So would yes. you advise parents to maybe ask their kids to check in even if there might not be a problem mm -hmm. but just to have that conversation? Absolutely. I think it's so important to be open with your children, to be um, open with your students, to keep that open conversation going and also for me, I found in my experience, when I talk to kids about this, when I open up to them, when I have them open up to me, it's not in a manner that's condescending. It's not in a manner that is, what are you doing? What's wrong? It's in a manner of, let's talk about it, um, what to do instead of what not to do. Mm -hmm. And that's the environment that I grew up in, and I think that's why I have a good handle on that. But yeah. I've been told by so many parents and so many teachers that my program that I have, um, one of the things that it does is it really opens that conversation. And this program has been requested and given out to, what is it, like something about 1,500 schools so far? Actually, almost a couple of thousand so wow. far. Wow, it's growing. Um, it's growing. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we actually recently hit our 1.1 million mark very recently um, with how many students it is in front of. So my goal is that this gets in front of as many students as possible. Um, the message spreads. We've got stu schools in the United States. We've got schools in, in Thailand and Australia and Canada. I don't know how it got to Thailand, but it's really great. I love <laughs> you, Thailand. It's a universal message. It is a universal message. Be kind to sure. others. Don't bully one another. Yeah. And uh, obviously, in addition to your advocacy work, you, young lady, just wrote a song for a film with Jenny Garth. Everybody loves Jenny I Garth. I love from Jenny Walmart. Garth. I was so excited when I heard yeah, her name. Yeah, tell us all about it. So it was a song um, called Summer Love Song that I wrote last year. And it was just, it's, it's very beautiful, it's very tender, it's very honest. And so, um, basically, one thing happened after another, and it landed in this movie called A Time to Dance. And it was a Karen Kingsbury book that was turned into this beautiful, heartfelt, lovely movie about... Um, 
this family and this husband and wife who mm -hmm. basically grow apart, but with the process of their daughter getting married and planning the wedding, they basically fall back in love. And, and a beautiful, beautiful love song written yes. by yours, truly. Great job, Lizzie. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for so joining much. us. Thank Doing good you. things. For more on her anti-bullying work, go to nobodyhasthepowertoruinyourday.org. For Fox 411, I'm Diana Falzone.